Hello everybody, welcome to another Uno Tech Byte. Today we will be doing something new, which is released with 5.2, and that's multi-windowing. So let's switch to Visual Studio, and I have a sample project here, which contains just a basic layout where you have a main page, which has a button, which says open new window. And this button is supposed to open, as you might guess, a new window. And this is now a new feature that's available in the SCIA targets of Uno platform. So you can run it on Windows, on Linux, and on Mac OS. And to handle this logic, you just basically do what you ex would expect. So you create a new window, and then you set uh, some content to that window. So uh, for example, here I will do a grid with a background so it's kind of nice to uh, recognize and then i will add a text block which says hello from new window let's make it a little bit bigger so for example 32 and now we just need to display that window and it's very simple as well so we just call window.activate so i will first run this directly on vinui which is the uh, vinui target of Uno platform. And once that loads, we should see our nice button. And when we click it, we get a second window, which says hello from new window. And if I go back to the main window and click again, I get another window that's saying that. So you can create as many windows as you want. And just to prove it to you that as Pick some other color here so it's nicer to see. So just to preview that it works in window uh, in, in Uno platform targets as well. I will pick here the WPF target. So with this one, you can target even older versions of Windows. So if, when I launch this, I can click and I can open secondary windows just like that. So super simple. Uh, just create a new instance and you can create multiple windows of your application and have multiple different contents of those windows as well. So you can have something like uh, toolbars or some more advanced multi-window application that uh, does multiple things. Of course, it's quite important that this code is kind of cumbersome. So you might want to make it more simple and you can do that by creating a second uh, a new type which is derived from window. If we right click on your app project and click add new item, you can select there a BNUI window. So let's search for that one. Uh, where is it here? So blank window BNUI free in desktop. So what this does, it creates a new XAML file and I can show you here, I already created in the second solution. It creates a new XAML file, which has a code behind. And this is representing a window. So you can write any code you want. And you can even include some XAML onto that window directly. So here I basically recreated the same thing that I had on the other project with a grid and a text block that says hello from second window. And now our code to display the window becomes much simpler. So we get a window of the type second window, and we just activate it. Super simple. And if I launch the application, we should get exactly the same result here. So if I click here, you get a secondary window, and it behaves exactly the same as the previous code. It's just a little bit simpler and more succinct. So I hope you like this. Uh, if you want to get notified about future uh, videos from Uno Tech Bytes, Please subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.